Spirit. 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 The crunch of word. The splash of light. The run of water. Spirit. 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 The breaking of words. The flow of light. The rush of water. Spirit. 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 Come, Spirit, scoundrel of grace. Invade and infect us with goosebumps and justice. Hey. Come, Spirit, spark in the chaos and unstop our ears to the song in creation. Come, Spirit, Rascal of heaven, bring us to the edge of all things created. Come, spirit of love. Come, spirit of life. Come, spirit of creation. Come, 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 come. Now, 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 now. To live with the spirit of God is to be a listener. It's to keep vigil with mystery, earthless and still. One leans to catch the stirring of the spirit, strange as the winds will. The soul that walks where the wind of the spirit blows turns like a wandering weather vane toward love. It may lament, like Job or Jeremiah. It may rejoice in spaciousness of meadow that emulates the freedom of the sky. Always, it walks in waylessness and unknowing. It has cast down forever from its hand the compass of whither and why. To live with the Spirit of God is to be a lover. It is becoming love and like the one toward whom we strain with metaphors of creatures fire sweep and water rush and the winds whim. The soul is all activity, all silence, and though it surges Godward toward its goal, it holds, as moving earth holds sleeping noonday, the peace that is the listening of the soul.